How's it going, everybody? Pauser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a trophy guide. Today, we've got Shim, a 3D platformer by Ewout Vanderwerf and Neil Schleekerman. Apologies if I butchered your names, guys. Thanks for letting me cover your game. This is a gorgeous shadow jumping puzzle game where you play as a Shim, the shadow spirit of the main character, taking him through the stages of life until circumstances force you to become separated. You then spend the rest of the game trying to reunite with him using the shadows of objects, people, and animals alike to make your way across each level. The trophy list is relatively simple, and while watching the guide, I'll be sure to point out where you can get level-specific trophies or where you can grind out the more grindy trophies, so watch out for those. The vast majority of the levels will have at least one collectible in them, so I'll show you how to get the collectibles as well as how to finish the level in one go. No big worries here, as nothing is missable with chapter select, and most levels are only a few minutes long from start to finish. By the end of the guide, you'll only be missing three trophies, which I'll explain at the end of the video. For now, let's get straight into it. Right off the bat, we can grab our first grindy trophy. You can get the Honk trophy by interacting with the car 250 times. So just keep pressing square until it unlocks, it should only take a minute or so. Once you've reunited with your person, run back the way you came to get another trophy out of the way, as well as grabbing your first collectible. You can get the Literally in the Litter League trophy by interacting with the trash can a hundred times. One big tip I can give you while playing this game is to interact with absolutely everything the first time you jump into it. There's a trophy, I came, I saw, I interacted, which requires you to interact with every type of object. I don't know how many different quote unquote types of object there are, but to be on the safe side, just keep interacting with everything as you jump into them. I unlocked this trophy way late into the game, so expect it to take a while before it unlocks. Over here, you can interact with the shadow in the tree a few times to unlock the surprised face trophy for interacting with a large shim. These are the ones that inhabit the shadows of large things, so you'll see them throughout the game. Finally, you can interact with this bird 50 times to unlock the animal handler trophy. From there, you can head over to your friends and move into the next level. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once the grill is on fire, we can interact with the hose and get to work on the mischievous trophy. We have to spray everything in this area down with water aside from the grill. If you spray the grill first, you'll drop the hose and have to proceed with the level, but you can always come right back to this with chapter select if you need to. Keep spraying everything until the trophy unlocks, then you can safely spray the grill. Once that's taken care of, your mother will be ready to end the play date, but before you go to her, we need to get the thanks for the play date trophy. You have to interact with your friend and both of his presumed parents so that you wave goodbye to them. It might take a few tries, so keep going back and forth between them until the trophy pops, then head to your mom and exit into the next level.
Ah, oh, bummer. Nobody likes a breakup. But it means we can get our next trophy. You never know what you're going to get. So I guess it's worth it in the end. Head over here to grab the box of chocolates under this tree to unlock the trophy.
So here in level 8 is probably the easiest way to get the Woosh Trophy. Interact with the signboard facing towards the dumpster to launch yourself towards it. If you get stuck in a shadow over there, just let yourself die to respawn back at the signboard and keep repeating this until the trophy pops. This is one of the longer grindy trophies, so expect it to take a few minutes. Right at the start of level 9, we can grab the Cannonball Trophy. This is to jump into the water 50 times, so just start jumping over the side from the shadow of the tree until the trophy pops. Level 10 is the first time you can reliably grind out the Hitchhiker Trophy. Get caught up in the shadow of a car, van, or bike, and just let yourself ride along until the end. You'll respawn and just continue doing this until the trophy pops. Congratulations, this is the last of the grindy trophies, so now we can focus mainly on getting the collectibles from here on out. Thank you. 
11 features the trophy let there be light i don't believe this is really missable as you really need the lights to be turned on anyway but just follow along to get it unlocked
Level 16 features the first part of the Station to Station trophy. In levels 16, 43, 45, 46, and 58, we have to interact with some train-based objects to unlock the trophy. So when you reach these turnstiles, just be sure to interact with them. I interacted with all of them, but just interacting with one of them should be all that's necessary, though trying on both sides might not be a bad idea. There won't be any more level specific trophies until level 42, so I'll see you when you get there.
All right, welcome back. So this one is a doozy. We have to interact with this golf ball and hit a hole in one with it. I'm going to leave my positioning and hit strength on screen for a few extra seconds for you, so feel free to pause it, but I wouldn't expect this to happen on your first try. There isn't much wiggle room, so you have to be pretty exact with it. For reference, this took me about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes to finish, so fingers crossed you can get it done before then. Level 43 features the second part of our station to station trophy. We need to interact with this little button thingy first. Then move around to the other side of the station. Avoid the kid waving his arms as that will progress to the next level. Make your way over to grab this collectible. And then interact with these turnstiles here.
Level 45 features the third part of our station to station trophy. We just need to interact with the turnstiles on this level, same as the other two. Level 46 features the fourth part of our station to station trophy. These turnstiles are a little out of the way, so head over down the road to interact with these. Then you can safely let yourself die to respawn back towards where you started. That's it for special stuff until level 58, so I'll see you there.
Level 58 features our final check-in point for the Station to Station Trophy. We've got one last set of turnstiles to interact with, and you should unlock the trophy after interacting with them a few times. If the trophy doesn't unlock, double check with levels 16, 43, 45, and 46 to be sure that you interacted with all of them. Thank you. 
So level 62 begins the final leg of our journey. You have to make it from here to the end of the game without dying, having to respawn, or restarting the level. You have to go through all of them in one take, which takes about 10 minutes or so once you know what you're doing. If you do make a mistake, just head back to the main menu and start back at level 62. This took me a few tries, maybe a total of 30 minutes to get through it all without any mistakes. But my main tip is just to be patient and think about your jumps before you make them. There's no need to be hasty here despite the building being on fire. While you're in here, you'll probably unlock the I came, I saw, I interacted trophy. I got it when I interacted with the toy fire truck.
This is the final collectible in the game, so if you've been following along, you should unlock the collector trophy right here. Congratulations.
Once you successfully jump out of the building, assuming you didn't make any mistakes, you'll unlock the Untouchable Trophy as well as the A New Beginning Trophy and the credits. Assuming you unlock the trophy for visiting 5,000 shadows while playing, you should only have three trophies left. Finish each level without respawning, finish the game with extra jump off, and finish the game with risky mode on. You'll find these in the options menu now that you've finished the game. I wouldn't recommend trying to finish all three of these at the same time simply because of how difficult the game gets without them turned on, but maybe try to get the no respawning and no extra jump trophies in the same playthrough, then go through one final time with risky mode turned on. Risky mode gives you a limit of 20 lives across the entire game, so having the extra jump on should help you with that. That'll do it for me though everybody, this was a genuinely fun game to play through and get the platinum in. You should be pretty familiar with the levels by the time you finish the game on your first playthrough and get ready for your second and third, but feel free to check back through the video if you run into a jumping sequence you don't remember particularly well. If you could leave a like if you enjoyed the video that would really help me out, comment down below if you plan on getting this or going for the platinum in it, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content.